who is the brain behind all this nature, that you find out. That is knowledge. So if you struggle for this and try to find out the origin and source of everything, then someday you may come to this platform, Vāsudeva Sarvamīti Sāmahārmā Then you understand that Krishna is the source of everything, and then your knowledge will be perfect. The Hegel's ideal realism is there to back. Ideal realism. The reality is an idea. The beginning, in the beginning of everything, the idea first. Ideal realism. Idea is not an abstract, imaginary thing, but it is real. <coughs> everything is the effect of idea. Starting idea, and then it is translated into action. Everywhere we find that. The beginning with idea, and then it realizes itself into action. Ideal realism, that is Hegel's theory. And ours, of course, consciousness first. Mm, then these are all the effects of consciousness. Eh? How do you control the mind? We can't even control the world, the environment. How are we going to control the mind is even more difficult because it's so subtle. Then where's the question of fixing the mind on something other than the world? So what do we do? Anyhow, the process is given here in this book. Huh? By following these simple steps, by following the simple steps. Accept what is favorable, reject what is unfavorable to devotion. Starting with that, one must have some faith and then following a few principles. And then we are not recognizing that that other world, that eternal world, is also trying to help us Without the help of that world, then it's difficult for us, no doubt. But we don't know that that world is also intelligent. It also has some feeling. It also has some qualities, personal qualities. And the independent existence of the jiva soul, the independent existence we experience in the material world, there is something else uh, where we are connected in a unity with another realm, another community, a divine community, divine persons. We are part of that. And it has, that world has allowed us to take our independent platform, our independent positions here, but it also can bring us back. Huh? But we can make some endeavor on our side, and that will make an endeavor from his side. And somehow or other, when we are sincere, when we have purified our hearts and make become qualified to enter into that world by our sincerity, then that will happen by His grace. Uh, not all up to us because we are so infinitesimal. And no doubt it's impossible to make progress on our own. But there is help. The infinite can come to help the finite. No problem for the infinite. But we have to show some willingness, that's all. He is playing with us and hoping that he can establish a relationship with us, but we have to make that relationship happen from our side also. Uh, so all these instructions are given, all this advice is given, all this encouragement is given. 
uh, to help the devotees make further further progress. And let's say even we don't get there. But the process is very nice. <laughs> even we don't get to the goal, still the process is very nice. Huh? Process of devotional service, very nice. A happy life, peaceful life, loving life. You can meet so many nice devotees, huh? have some relationship, huh? develop some activities that are not ugly and tangling and causing harm to others, uh, purifying your life, eating nice prasadam, having very high thoughts, uh, loving thoughts of offering everything in your existence to Krishna. And we find even just that process, trying to think of Krishna in every instance, every situation of our life, we become happy. Huh? As soon as we forget about Krishna, as soon as a devotee forgets Krishna, he gets entangled in so many miserable things. Uh, and he realizes the simple process, simple process, just remembering Krishna. Hare Krishna, he chants when there's some difficulty, when there's some forgetfulness, he can simply say Hare Krishna. And immediately remembers, oh yes, this is about Krishna. It's all about Krishna. It's his story, history, <laughs> not my story. Hmm? Don't worry so much about yourself. Then you will lead in so many difficulties. You think about Krishna, and all your difficulties will disappear. Not only that, but then he will help you also. When you have the help of the divine, when you have the help of the infinite, everything falls into place. Everything becomes harmonious and peaceful and sweet and happy. Huh? You can know this by experience. We ask anyone, huh? you try this, try this Krishna consciousness. And by your own experience, you will understand. Yes, it's very nice, very sweet. I am becoming happy. Uh, everyone has experience. So, not something that is blindly have to follow. It's something that gives a result, it's scientific, because it is real. It is real, and these people are not cheating, all these saints, all the Shastra, the whole history, the whole tradition, not a cheating process. Kaitava Dharma. Ah, they call it Kaitava Dharma means cheating, cheating religions. Some in the name of religion, they're teaching materialistic things, even in the name of religion. But we're not teaching like that. We say don't get involved in any materialistic thing. Involve your life in the spiritual thinking, spiritual activities. Huh? Then by that kind of pure life, and connecting everything with the Lord, then we'll see how our life will take on a different uh, experience, a uh, different significance, a different meaning, uh, and a different quality, transcendental quality of, of devotion. And you see, if you become satisfied. When I first came, I do the Krishna consciousness. I was a scientist and I thought, let me try. I'm a scientist. Let me experiment with this process. I'm going to make myself the experiment. <laughs> if I can experience what they say, then I'll know it's, it's actually true. Let me try it. Let me see if I can experience what they're saying. If you can experience what they're saying, how much you are going to gain? Such Satchitananda. Eternity, bliss, knowledge. 
Are you willing to put yourself in the test tube? Then you can tell. Is it work or not work? <laughs>